Hey guys, welcome to a brand new rebuild on the channel. Today we're going to be rebuilding Olympic Lyon, her team who once were one of the greatest teams in French football. As you can see, they've won seven uh, French championships. They also won five domestic uh, cups and only won one European trophy, which was the UEFA Inter Cup, I believe it was. Back in the 80s, I believe they won that competition. But currently, this in ninth place in the going far away from the top of the table, 22 points behind PSG. But at the top and the team that uh, back in 2020 were a Champions League semi finalist. Obviously, they went, uh, I believe, they got knocked out by Man City, if I remember correctly. It was Man City that knocked them out in that season. But obviously, they had a pretty good season that uh, year. And uh, ever since then, they've not really reached those heights. Obviously, they've got quite a good youth academy. They've uh, produced quite a few good players uh, in the years that they've been a team. Obviously, they've got some uh, young players in their team currently. Likes of Ryan Cherokee, the likes of Gusto and Kakade, who are going to be uh, big players for us in this rebuild. But let's, wait, not, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this rebuild. But before we get into it, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications so don't miss the video. Let's get into this rebuild. Okay, so as you can see, this is the team we have inherited here at Olympic Leon. And as you can see, we're going to make a couple of different interests to the team. We have brought in Tete as a permanent, so I made that happen. For I think 17 point something million, which was way underneath his value. His value was at 24 million. So I'm not sure why Shakhtar let him go for that much, but I brought him in as a permanent son now to play the right wing ball for the foreseeable future. And so we've got rather a mix between old and young players, which is a, a good balance, but at the same time, we want to make this team younger. Obviously, we like, still always linked to a bunch of Premier League uh, teams at the moment, uh, like Chelsea and Newcastle, the biggest teams in, in from at the moment, I can see. We've got Dejan Lovren and the Cape as, as our two centre backs. But we're going to keep those two, two centre backs for this season. Because we are going to learn at the end, Mande, considering he's only 74 rated, he's not going to get that much game time this season, and rather learn him out for the season. He's got uh, decent potential. He can keep growing. Tali Yafika obviously recently joined from Ajax, pretty decent left, but we're going to keep him for now. Obviously, he is 29 years old. In the midfield, we have Awa, we have uh, Lepanon, and uh, Kekade. So we've uh, got a pretty good French midfield, obviously, decently young. Obviously, Awa is the Oldest of the three, being 24, and goal with Anthony Lopez. As you can see down the left wing, we're going to put Cherokee at left wing. Hopefully, he can go up in his pace. We've got uh, Musa Dembele up front, and uh, we are going to look to sell Lacazette, who's been being 31 years old. And we've got, we're either going to bring in a first team striker or a, or a younger backup striker. We've got a pretty decent bench with the likes of uh, Rene Adelaide, uh, Favre, and Tadiso. And uh, yeah, let's get into the transfers we're going to make. Obviously, I've brought in Tate, that's one transfer we've already made. We've got about 30 something million left. So, let's get into those deals and show you uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so this is the team we're going to go into season one with. As you can see, we've made quite a few changes to the starting 11. We brought in Marcus Taram from uh, Mushin Mushin Club, but we, swapped, we did a straight swap for Alexander Lacazette like heading over to club back. And you can see at left foot we signed Owen Wyndal. We still have uh, Teddy Afika at the team. We couldn't uh, sell him, no one came in for him during the transfer window. And as you can see, at centre back, we brought in uh, uh, Christopher Ajir, the um, Danish, or is he? Uh, no, he's Norwegian. The Norwegian centre back from uh, Brentford, formerly of Celtic. Hasn't really worked out from uh, Brentford as of recently, but he's still got some decent potential in him. 24 years old, 76 rated. But a pretty decent player. As you can see, we're going to convert uh, Kekle to a CDM, and we're going to play Taliso and Awa as our midfield. And next season, we're probably going to replace uh, Taliso and Lopez in the team. But yeah, let's uh, get into the season, show you how we performed at the end of the season. Hopefully, we. Um, Made a fight for the title as we do have a um, quite lofty board objectives. So let's uh, quickly end of the season and show you how we performed. Okay, so in the end of season one, we actually have reached it to the Coupe de National final, and in on the way there would be to Etienne, we'd be uh, Nantes, we'd be uh, Lens. Where did PSG go out? Because I don't see them. They must have gone out really early in this Coupe. Yeah, they did. They went out uh, to Brest in round 32 in the uh, Ligue 1. Where did we finish? We finished second. Only one point about PSG. That's actually impressive. We considered less goals than them as well, and a better goal difference. So if we didn't draw one more, if, well, if we didn't draw a game that we uh, obviously did draw, we would have won the league. But uh, yeah, let's have a, have a look at the. Um, let's actually sim to the um, to the cup final and sim that one uh, before we check the uh, season stats. As you can see, we're taking on Strasbourg in the cup final, and I'm just gonna cut it here and then show you the uh, result. Because in the cup final, as you can see, we're taking on Strasbourg, and as you can see, we've got a very, a very good team. Cherokee's gone up to an 82 rating. We've got Gusto an 82. Obviously, we, got, we can't use Wanda, which is going to be suspended, so Teddy Fico is going to come in. And in the cup final, we went out in 4 3 on penalties as you scoring the uh, decisive penalty. And that's a look at the season stats and how the uh, team has grown. 
Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, season stats, see who were the top scorer was. So my father, they were 20 and 2 uh, in goal involvements, 22 goals in 35, uh, not 22 goals, but 22 goal involvements in 35 games. And Marcus Tillon behind him with 19 and 3. Shrekey went up with plus 9, 13 and 4. Uh, Talisa, who we're going to replace next season, I think. I might have actually given one more season in this team. Because they were performing quite well. We're in the Champions League next season. Got to sign a new goalkeeper, possibly a new centre back to replace this year. And should be our backup uh, centre back. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at the. Uh, you can see the stats of the team. Let's have a look at the actual growth of the team. Dembele only played five games, so that's not good for him. And see Cherky up to an 82, uh, to Rome 84, Tete 82, Gusto 82. As she has 79 rated to be fair to him, 25 years old. So I think the only change we'll make to the team next season is a new goalkeeper. We uh, let Lopez go. Possibly bringing a backup centre back. Oh, no, Diamandi comes back from his loan actually, so we're going to bring Diamandi in. Uh, Teddy Fika will leave us next season. Um, we might have to sell down Bele, because he obviously is unhappy about his playtime. But maybe if I give him a brand new uh, development, uh, not development plan, uh, contract and change the squad role, he might be happy then. So yeah, let's uh, get into season two and uh, show you which uh, player we're going to bring in. Okay, for season two, actually, so we're not going to make any immediate changes to the first team. We've only brought in a backup uh, goalkeeper in uh, Lecce here, or Lecce. He's obviously first time, but I had to bring in two French players. I didn't want to uh, replace anyone from the team. So I've put in two French reagents and he's the 74 red backup goalkeeper. It'll be alright, obviously we have um, a Polish back who is a backup goalkeeper, a goalkeeper on loan who's an 18 year old. A talent that maybe could become quite decent. But yeah, I don't want to make any changes to this team this season because I want to give this team a chance to grow. Because obviously last season we performed quite well, we won the, uh, the cup, we finished second in the league, we got Champions League football. And we've got um, a fairly decent team, obviously Lopez is the oldest player being 32 but he went up plus two last season. And still has room to grow this season. So, um, yeah, we're going to give him a chance to see what he can do maybe next season. We'll buy a better goalkeeper. But um, Christopher Esch we're going to give one more season to see how much it goes up this season. And um, there's a couple of players I think about bringing in, like Simic and, and uh, Saliba, two, two players I could bring in. And Simic Taliso is 29 now, so maybe we're going to replace him next season with a younger player. But as of right now, I want to see what Rainey can go to, and then in, in the future, it'll be a backup player for us. But let's just see how we perform in season two. And yeah, hopefully um, perform quite well and get to a decent point. Uh, get to a decent point in the Champions League and maybe win the league title, or at least challenge PSG for it again. As you can see, we've actually made quite a big signing. We're currently at the uh, first uh, January here. We're making a big signing because Talisa's complaining about getting to him once he leaves the club. So we're going to sell him, and we're bringing in Eduardo Camavinga to be our first team centre mid alongside, obviously uh, Kakade and Hasamawa uh, to keep the French uh, trident going in midfield. That I like. That I like. That I like having in this uh, rebuild. And Camavinga is going to be a mainstay for this uh, rebuild. And yeah, probably come and joins us. So let's uh, take a look at the team with a minute. Because as you can see, this is our team currently looks at uh, this point in the season. As you can see, uh, Ryan Choker is currently out injured, and um, that's obviously rather unfortunate. He's only out, he's only out for a couple more days, so it isn't a worthwhile thing to replace him. Obviously, we do have a uh, Barcolo on the bench. He's actually grown quite well. He's up to a 75 rating. I'm not sure what his actual potential is, but I feel like he's actually going to beat his normal potential in the game. So he didn't have like showing great potential or anything when I first started this, and he's up to 75 rated. Which is quite good. I think Tete and Favre are both fighting it out for that right one position. I think Tete, Tete isn't actually playing as many games. So I think he's actually unhappy at the club currently. Which is rather unfortunate. I mean, his morale's happy. But I don't think he's playing that many games. And I think that could be a huge issue going forward. But Roman Favre was an 84 rated, as you can see. Doing quite well, 25 years old. And you can see the rest of the team is looking good. We're still up to an 85. Uh, Ayers up to an 81. Uh, Lukeba 84. Vindal 83. And Anthony Lopez up to an 86. But let's uh, let's uh, quick turn to the season and show you how the team performs with now Eduardo Camavinga joining the at that midfield trio. So end of season two, let's check out what we did in the league and uh, the Coupe National and the Champions League in league and we actually won the league on 99 points, one uh, only one lost the whole season. It's incredible. Considering we're only one point behind uh, PSG last season, I thought we would like uh, challenge for the title this season. But I didn't expect us to win it. Marseille were the uh, closest team behind us. In the Trophy des Champions, how did we do in that? We uh, lost on penalties to PSG, Coupe de National. Uh, we actually won that again up against Strasbourg. And in the Champions League, did we make it to the final? We did not. By a minute, took on Man City in the final semi-finals. We did not make it there. Quarter-finals, we did not make it there. We got knocked out in a round of 16, five foot in aggregate. We won the first leg. Well, that'd be three one, and lost the second leg four one. Interesting. I guess we must have had like an injury or something at that point in the season. Well, let's check. Um, the team's growth and uh, the players as a season. You can see the growth there. The team is quite good. Um, Ajay up to an 82. Might keep him. Obviously, we're going to replace uh, Lopez next season because he's going to start going down, I think, now. 
and uh, the cable's picked up an injury there so hopefully that isn't too detrimental to his growth you know check the uh, player stats there so uh, highest uh, goal scored is actually uh, Terum with 44 in 51 games this is an 89 rating that was insane from uh, Marcus Terum there we've got uh, Favre with uh, 32 and 7 Cherky 17 and 2 Awa 7 and 6 and Rennie Adelaide with uh, 6 and um, 16 how many games did um, Kamavinga play in the end? Let's find Kamavinga. He only plays 17 games and got one assist. So hopefully um, next season he plays more games than that. We might have to... Uh, I don't know what we do actually. But maybe we uh, sell... No, no, we're not going to sell any other. Maybe we'll him out. But yeah, season... Uh, and next season we're going to... Which is season 3. Uh, any changes to the team? Obviously we have our home return out on loan this season. It went up plus 7. Uh, Tete is going to go out on loan because he, he complained about getting 10 sides to accept a loan deal so he wouldn't you know, complain and get me fired. Uh, Dembele, how many games did he play? He only played four games. Got uh, quite a few players there. And next season, as I mentioned, we are going to replace Lopez in goal because it is, it's going to be a plus two again this season, but it's going to take him a while to go up again. And he's 33 years old now. So I think we um, sell him and bring in a better goalkeeper. I'm not sure who we're going to bring in, but we'll bring in someone. Let's get into the next season and uh, show you the, uh, the transfers I make. Okay, for season three actions, we've made two big changes to the team. We're putting Controllo in at Shirley, Portuguese centre back to play the left centre back role, and we're going to sell Christopher Agier. We also brought in Aaron Ramsdale from Arsenal, 26 year old goalkeeper, 84 rated. It's two ratings below. And to Lopez, we're going to look to sell Lopez this season. But he obviously, has got more longevity than Lopez in this crime mode, and we'll probably go overtake him in this season, probably. So let's uh, get into the uh, season. We're going to sell a couple more players. But uh, yeah, let's go to the end of the season and show you how this team performed. Okay, so as you can see, at the end of season 3, we've actually made it to a third consecutive uh, Coupe de National final here. So we're going to quit on this one before checking out how we performed in Ligue 1 and the player stats. And we picked up a third consecutive Coupe National trophy in three seasons in a row. That's absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ma made a team ever that's this, like, consistent in a cup. I can see Favre, Awa and Kakere scoring there. So let's have a look at the uh, standings at the league table and see if we managed to win the league, uh, league title again. I see we'll, we won the uh, competition last season. So it'd be great to go back to back. I know we didn't do uh, great in the Champions League, as you can tell, because we didn't. The Champions League final would take place before that game, so we didn't make it into the Champions League final. But I uh, don't know when we got knocked out. But in the league, and we actually won the league again. Uh, less points than last season, we picked, uh, picked up one more loss. But again, we beat PSU to the title two seasons in a row, so we've won two trophies back to back in the Trophy des Champions we actually lost that to uh, Olympic Marseille in the Champions League what was the final? The final was PSG and Napoli okay when did we get knocked out? I know we actually sold uh, Lopez to Napoli so it's interesting they wanted to win the competition we got knocked out by Sporting in the quarterfinals we then got knocked out by Napoli 5-1 an aggregate how did we get beat by Sporting of all teams? but yeah let's have a look at the uh, player performances I see my manager rating isn't the highest because it's this game in general and um, yeah, some of the objectives you get are just weird. And Marcus Turan with 48 goal involvements. I did not expect him to become this good of a player. I knew he'd be good, but I did not expect him to become 92 rated at 27 years old. Like, what a player. Uh, Rumba Favre as well, 88 rated. I expected Tete to be the guy that um, is our first team winger, but Favre obviously he has uh, stepped into that role and become our best, one of our best players. Uh, Ryan Cherkery as our second highest rated player at 91 rated at 21 years old. That was incredible him, 17 and 1. And uh, Hasamawa, 14, uh, 14 and 13 goal involvements, uh, 14 goals and 13 assists. And you can see some uh, backup players, obviously Kamavinga, 8 and 6, good uh, season from him. Let's have a look at the uh, team's growth. And then we're going to uh, move into season 4. When I'm not sure what changes we're going to make to the team, I think it's just going to be backup players at the bench. Actually, we've got a pretty decent bench, but I think. Some players are not too happy, like Bacola. I mean, well, I think going into the next season, I'd be happy. Most of them, I think, wants to leave. So, we're going to bring in a new backup striker. Tete, I think, might leave at some point. I think he's going to stay. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this is the team we currently have. Well, just some insane growth in this team. Obviously, we want the likes of Inaccio, uh, Find Out, and Ramsdale to go in more. Obviously, Ramsdale only going to plus one, but it just goes to an 86 rating in five weeks. So, that is quite good. But, um, yeah. Let's get into season uh, four and hopefully um, win the league and win the Coupe de National and make a push for the Champions League title. Okay, so season four, we're not going to make any changes to the team. We're going to keep the team exactly how it was last season. Hopefully, this season we can um, fight for the league title again and hopefully win the Coupe de National for the, first, uh, for the fourth time in a row and uh, put up a Champions League uh, fight. 
And yeah, this is a quick turn in the season and show you how this team performed in season four. Okay, so in the season four, let's see how we did in all competitions we're in. In league, and we actually won the title again, only two points out of PSG. We drew ten games, only lost one game though, so that's impressive. In the trophy de champion, how did we do in that? We in we uh, actually won that against PSG at the start of the season, the Coupe Nationale. We're actually in the final again, up against Marseille, the fourth season in a row. So if we let's see how we did in the Champions League, actually, let's see. How we did. We made it to the Champions League final up against Borussia Dortmund. Let's see how we did. So in the um, round of 16 we took on uh, Ajax 1-5-2 and aggregate they took on Milan. Uh, quarter finals they took on Man City 1-3-2. We took on Juventus 1-3 and went aggregate. Uh, Semi finals they faced uh, Atletico Madrid 1-4-2 and aggregate lost the second leg though. And we battered Liverpool 6-0 and aggregate. And then as you can see that's the final. We'll have to get into the final though. Let's have a look at the um, squad and see how the players performed. Check out the players' stats and everything like that. All that good stuff. Marcus Turan, 40 goal involvements in 55 games. He should be absolutely incredible to season game. Uh, Favre, 47 goal involvements. It's incredible for him. Ryan Tricky, 29. Uh, Gusto, 9 and 2 from centre back. Yeah, not centre back, full back. Kawa, 7 and 5. As you can see, but honestly, what was one of the players? Okay, interesting. We uh, bought Bernardo Silva to be a player because obviously, at the start, I mentioned we had to buy two crucial first team players, but I didn't want it to be in our team. So it won't take up a gain time from anyone in our team. Bernardo Silva was someone I bought from, uh, I, think, I, can't remember, I think it was Real Madrid or Barcelona he was at. And we loaned him out to Dortmund because he can't sell a player once he's just bought them. So we're going to be taking on Bernardo Silva in the Champions League final. That's interesting. Kakaray's suspension. What is that? If that isn't a um, suspension in a competition that we're going to be playing in. It doesn't tell me uh, what the suspension is. But yeah, let's get into the Champions League final. Up against Borussia Dortmund, it should be a fun game. Obviously, we're up against Bernardo, so we're going to check out their team here. See what uh, they're bringing to the table. And I brought Jonathan David, got Martinelli, we got Florian Verts, Junior Dust playing right mid. Okay, Sadio Shannon Tonali is midfield. Uh, Bashali, Saliba, John Stones, Vanderson, and Kobel in net. It's an interesting team. A couple of players there that you know about are world class. Uh, 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 Bascali is the only one that I'm a bit. A little bit unsure about I know he used to be a talent in FIFA but I don't think he's anymore he doesn't have that uh, much of a potential but actually, our team is absolutely incredible uh, that team just looks incredible to use it looks like it's going to be fun to use let's get into this game against Borussia Dortmund and hopefully win the Champions League title here at the end of season 4 it is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar Derek Ray here in the commentary position joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson it is Olympic Lyonnais against Borussia Dortmund check it now check it now good opportunity for him play it through to Taram and Taram you need to bury that Taram needs to bury that he does bury it it's a great goal Cherky shows his skills shows what he can do and Taram gets in there and finishes the uh, through ball Plus into back of the net. Plus this one little up here in this Champions League final. It's a great bit of skill here from Cherky. Gets around the defenders. Pays a through ball. It's a great finish on Turan. Interesting decision there with that pass. And the game chose. But Turan now hit it. Turan hits it. I mean, we know it's a goal, but we're, we're watching that with the instant replay feature because we, we, that deserves a replay. What just happened? Let's watch this there. Taram from range smashes it off the crossbar, and that's a great goal. And that's your sure good work there. We're cutting out from him. Oh, well. Hi, right, to Ryan Cherky. Ryan Cherky now. Ryan Cherky into Turan for the hat trick. And Marcus Turan has scored a hat trick in the Champions League final. Some, he scored obviously a great goal for the first one. The, uh, the second one, I mean, was a great finish from range. The second one, the first one was a good, um, good assist from, I can't remember who played the through ball. But this one's the simplest of the three. And we're 3 up here in the final. Like it's so quick. I like a. I'm not, I'm not gonna 
can we just get the what's going on okay I have a, I have a conceded there and it's 3-1 but still I hate this like it's getting so weird man I, I, it's just I say this in every video but like you can tell when you're gonna concede easily because stuff like this happens. I'm pressing clearance so many times there, and then they somehow score this. Oh no, it's gonna be a goal, ain't it? It's gonna be 3 2. Yep. Somehow 3 2, they've done nothing all game, and they scored two goals back to back because it's towards the end of the game. I don't know we've looked poor defensively, but she denied everything they've done up until the game, just decided, you know what? Screw the fact we're good at defending, we're just gonna score goals. Like, look at this press, man. It's the 84th minute of a game. And they're doing that press, but uh, Shirkley now. To make it 4 2. Uh, put the game to bed, there we go. And Ryan Shirkley gets, some goals, gets himself a goal here in the fan. He's got himself an assist or two. It's been such a weird game, honestly. Like, it's one of those games where you can't really tell how good players are because you haven't got time on the ball you can't like I played against Man City Liverpool you know teams that press but it's Dortmund press the face in this final is the worst I've ever faced that like, literally the second you touch the ball they are on you you can get out of this uh, Champions League final and then we get to 4-2 victory somehow it's 4-2 I mean the four goals for us completely justified the two goals for Dortmund not justified whatsoever but we win the Champions League final here. Four seasons in. I see a bit an absolutely incredible team. Uh, Tehran with a hat trick in the Champions League final. And um, obviously, Cherky with a couple of assists and a goal for himself. But obviously, we have the uh, Coupe, Coupe National final. We're going to quit some after this one. After the uh, celebrations here, just see if we can win that for, uh, one more time. And then we're going to go into the team stats in the season. Uh, stats and stuff like that. Show you the, teams, uh, show you the players' ratings and stuff. And let's talk about a couple of players. But obviously, we're going to get the title left there. With uh, Asim Awa being the Champions League, uh, being the captain, so he's going to lift the title. He felt pretty good. It was kind of like you know, where the team plays with the uh, tactics it had going into the game that I didn't touch whatsoever. They felt very just everyone was everywhere. Like, the whole midfield was just rotating, and I didn't like it. But we'll win the Champions League final here with this team that we've made. Obviously, we've got the Coupe National final after this. So we're going to get into that. We're going to watch a, a little bit more of these celebrations here. We have an incredible team that we built. One of, the, one of the best teams in terms of ratings I've built. But I feel like, in terms of how it played, it wasn't the best whatsoever. But we're going to sit the celebrations there with the, t with the uh, team. And we're going to get these team fouls as well. We're going to let that uh, get taken. I think I was a player that I would like to use in that extra crow mode. Obviously, I, mean, I used him in the Fiorentina rebuild and um, he flopped massively. He, like, he just didn't grow. He just we got bought in, gave him time, and he just didn't well, He didn't perform, so he wasn't getting played. He forced his way out of the team. But look at in this rebuild, he did perform and he gets to lift the Champions League final. And that's a similar coup to the national final after this, and then get into the season stats. He already quit some of the Coupe National final here because um, they were just going to quit some of it. As you can see, Kekoray isn't going to play because he got a suspension. And we win four back to back Coupe National trophies with Favre, Taram, and Shirky scoring. Let's get into the season stats and show you how the players performed. Okay, so the player stats there, as you can see, Taram with 37 and 7. That was absolutely incredible from him. Uh, Favre 33 and 15. And Shakery with 22 and 11, Gusto 9 and 2, how are uh, 7 and 6? That was incredible numbers from him. But I, show, I did show these before going into the final. I don't know why I showed it before going into the final. It really makes sense to do that. But yeah, that's the end numbers. I still already showed those. I'm not going to go into them in depth. I'm going to. Why do I always do that? We're going to go into team management here. I'm just going to show the team in depth as we do the outro. And tell you players that you should. Uh, that I should. Uh, I'm recommending that you should use uh, Shakery. I do recommend using him. Obviously, he's not the fastest. I reckon as a cami would be absolutely incredible. Because um, he's not the fastest player, even at this point. As you can see, 81 sprint speed. Like, he doesn't really do much down the win. But he, did, he played well in that final, to be fair to him. 
uh, Taram here. Uh, what's his agility like? 73. He, does, he is very cr uh, clunky. So if he can work on his um, on his uh, on his agility and stuff like that, then he will be a very good player for a striker. But as you can see, at, even without the agility, he's a fantastic striker. This thing with his team out set up with the natural tactics he has going into the rebuild. He, it just felt a little bit weird the whole team in that final I and mean, we won we won the final so I, I, I don't mind but the, the fluidity of the team wasn't really there uh, Favre he, he was just invisible in that final he looks like a decent player when, I, when he was on the ball and like when I got a chance to use him he did feel pretty good on the ball and what he could do felt pretty good I recommend you, I would recommend that you actually do use him again another player that could be a very good as a cam as opposed to a winger uh, Gusto was a very good right back. Uh, the Cabe, very good centre back, and actually a very good centre back. Find out. Um, he's a good left back, uh, left wing back. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, like the strength isn't really there, so it doesn't really win many battles. Like now and again, but like, I think if we kept going in this rebuild and improved him more defensively than we have done, he could become a very good player. It's, it's all right, Ramsdale. It was, he didn't really have much to do, so I can't really say anything about him. But uh, midfielders, Awa felt incredible. He, he looked very good on the ball, 27 at this point. He's a very good cam, I'd recommend using him. Uh, Kemp Wenger, very good box box midfielder. Kekare, a very good CDM. But that's going to call it for the end of the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications. Don't miss the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.